Look, look at her, look at her. So, to recap. Y'all saw that little, that little, little magic oh my gosh, she won a piece of that wolf. How y'all doing, bro? We're here. We're back with Wolf. wolf, 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 wolf. We're back with Wolf Among Us. I just got done taking a final. I was like, bro, I I logged on to the to the to the computer, right? Took the final. Well, I was about to take the final. I was, I was feeling fairly confident. I mean, I was. <laughs> I got I got a final on, but I'm record. <clears throat> I'm recording this early May. Y'all probably gonna see this around late May, but like. Bro, uh, <laughs> I got another final on Monday. I didn't really care about this one. I knew I was gonna pass the class. I don't really care. But don't do not do that, y'all, you know. But logging to the final, 70 questions. Oh my gosh. I was sitting there like, bro, it's a history final, bro. 70 questions, took it, passed it. May not have been an A, but I still passed it, <laughs> you know. And we're here now because I was like, I need to get my energy back up, bro. It's only 7.30 p.m. I need to get my energy back up a little bit, bro. Let me play some Wolf Among Us. Let me get immersed into a story. Ah, tips for y'all taking, uh, yeah, tips for y'all. Some of y'all that might be going into college soon, bro. There is a website called Rate My Professor. <laughs> go on there before every time y'all about to sign up for a class, go on there, type in the professor that y'all about to sign up for. If they got a high rating, then go for it. Well, read the comments too, because sometimes they got high ratings, but like, you know, they still be, it depends on your learning style. It depends on your learning style. But go to Rate My Professor. It's a website online. Type in your school, type in the teacher name, and the rating for that teacher will come up. If they got a horrible rating, don't take them, bro. Don't take them, bro. Another tip. I know some of y'all high school students, y'all might not like some teachers don't give y'all, or well not don't, but they give y'all a lot of work, too much work maybe even. And it's understandable. But in college, <laughs> y'all might want to take them teachers that be given a lot of assignments. Because like, say for instance, right, y'all got a teacher or a professor in college that don't really give a lot of assignments, don't really give a lot of opportunities for grade they just basically they say they teach the class they put some powerpoints online and then they be like your only grades in the class will be the test the, the workload will be light but say you bomb a test you're done <laughs> if you bomb a test you literally have to pass every other test to pass the class so you know the other if, if you got a if you got a professor that has a lot of assignments take them bro because if you if you bomb a test, you'll still have some room to pass, bro. You'll still have not even some or a lot of room to pass because you still got all those assignments that's holding a little weight. Anyway, we're back with the Wolf Among Us. Sorry, <coughs> sorry for that long intro. Today we got we're gonna start episode three of Crooked Mile. Last episode, uh, I'm not gonna go into too deep, but basically the main thing we found out that Crane is the weird ass nigga that's been killing and predating upon these women. Uh, y'all know they're gonna give up the little thing. Uh, get y'all snacks. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a, kind of a long one, maybe. I don't know. Just know this 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 video will be the first half of episode three. Next episode will be the second half of episode three. Let's get to it, bro. It's a pretty long intro, y'all. I'm sorry. I like Those talking to you. It used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. I can't tell you anything. You can't or you won't. Snow. So I just want you to be careful. I almost so lost Crane my thought I'm not yours to lose. that he I'm had sex to with Snow. For Crane anymore. And he thought that he killed Snow. Her sister but he was like, oh no, I killed a she troll that was her. hooking. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club. I have to believe this. I know. My name is Marissa. <laughs> Pro. Well, Marissa, I've got some questions. 
the open arms. <laughs> what is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Ah, <sighs> weirdo, bro. Ooh, when I get my hands on him, <laughs> oh my, ooh, ooh, you know Big B about to go crazy, bro. Fucking spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Big B, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Let's not tell what? everybody. What's going on? Crane's been. Oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's Where is he? Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can. God damn it! Okay, it's. it's he okay. broke the mirror, didn't okay. he? But where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Let's get to it then. Y'all can handle the you all us guess babble. But I got I got somewhere to be. Wait. What, man? What? Snow's Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful when you tell her. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. You know what? You got it. But I'm still letting Snow know angrily, like, I'm fuming. Well, you know, he is fuming. Y'all know what I mean, bro. Golly. Ah, oh, man, he is so weird. <laughs> He's so weird, bro. And he really got his stuff. He packed up that little key he had and dipped. Am I playing? Hey, yo, Snow. Nigga, they having it right now? If you're here, then you were part of a very special story. You know what? I'm not even going to do that. We can wait. It's not that serious. She, we know she's safe, at least. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that, that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. I miss, I miss worrying about you. The memory I miss our fights. I miss well. you. And it will, Only. in time... Oh. Equal in strength to our mourning her loss. Now you will never and it die from indifference. I'd like to talk you about a tedious how life. All been so grateful Bye, sweetheart. Thanks for everything. That's her mom. She could be stubborn and patient, rash and thoughtful. How she carried a torch for the, the old bright boys, shining star in this shithole of a town. And I miss Most you already. Of all, it seems Brand. how Lily loved. Dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around them, in good times and bad. I never met Lily, but from what I've been told... Snow, wrap it up! I'm sorry, but... <laughs> oh, my fault. I'm sorry. And now we'll have our, um, moment of silence. Thank you. How long do seconds of... Hey, yo, Snow. Bigby, you know, is everything okay? Okay, nice. No, not you. What do you mean? Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. I don't, but, not you know... Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to... When did... Wait, you did that? There. Why you do that? After you lie, after you promise me. Holly, wait, that was Crane, just 
Oh, I'm like, wait a minute, I ain't do nothing. His body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Right, bro? I mean, he's also a weirdo. He's trying to help. No, I need to talk to you, though. Sure, he has a very good reason for me. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Holly, this is serious. I mean, uh, okay. talk to your serious. Okay, look, Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Y'all continue mourning, okay? I know how this must No, feel. you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. I don't plan to stay. I'm not gonna bother all four of your residents here, bro. Okay, I had to, because of snow. I'll be out of here soon. See that you are. Can I just... just continue? Okay. Who is this supposed this is to be? Such total fucking bullshit. Oh, look, there's Narissa. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I remember her name. I feel like that would be so messed up, especially since, like, you know. Like, I ain't call her, like, the, the pra, the B word, or, like, the a uh, whore, the H word, or, like, uh, the T word. This better be wildly important. I mean, uh. Enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to you mean not you thought Crane picture it, to not picture him. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's If you want doing? proof, you gotta... <laughs> Don't confuse things. Deposing Crane oh, I got the you. Next step. Let me just show you the picture. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um, no, I understand. It's just that something's come up. Are you okay? You don't have to do this right now. I'll be fine. How'd it go at the motel? Go back to the thing, Marissa. I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Don't well, ask what I found. Narissa! Yeah, uh, coming! No! Oh, I thought that was. You know how <laughs> these guys. <laughs> thought that was Crane. In a visit, you say, "How do you do? How do you do?" That way, it's proper. I tell you to run. I told y'all I'm gonna see them again. <laughs> so make it more fun for me. What are you dreaming about? You ain't a fast enough pup to prevent me from emptying both barrels into Snow White's face over there. Oh, that's Let's nuts. To the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. Move 
So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours. Brother, speak your mind. Fastly now. You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Cause it don't. I probably we just killed someone there. Things the fat way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please rest easy. This is not the hell is going on. What's happening? Oh my gosh, Very somebody's sorry about to die. To impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? Settle down. Whoa! Settle down. Somebody, yeah, everyone just some stay where you are, happen, nice and natural. I'm not making any deal with you. So just get the fuck out of here and leave these people alone. Nah. Uh oh. <laughs> What's going on back there? What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? Holly, this ain't my fault. Motherfuckers can come here uninvited. You think you can just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It's just a simple business transaction. You I don't think a gun's gonna put him down. Away with this. Holly, don't move. Calm down, Holly. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! God, Lee, Lily, come on, like. I got it done. Kill him. I'm not gonna lie, y'all are dying. <laughs> y'all are dying. If I if I got the opportunity to kill you right now, God, Lee, bro. God, Lee, bro. No way. Don't tell me she. A, a, a good part of me definitely felt like I could have prevented that. Oh, man. Gotta be more careful, bro. Gotta be. A good part of me definitely felt like I could have prevented that. But, um. I didn't. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do about that? You know, you know, what are we gonna do? I'm trying to think what could I have done? Could I have just agreed with them and then lied to them later? I probably could have done that. I probably could just agree with them and then lied later. Who the hell is this? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. Oh. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fabletown physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. We all know, damn, you can grind meat on that. All right, but we all know that, like, Don't go he's not gonna do that. Fights. Keep strain off your heart. And try and get some rest. How's everyone else? They all make it. They're fine. Oh, I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Okay, I mean, I was, I would assume that. See where she lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Nuts. The Titans, okay. baby. They'll be fine. Yeah, that's what I was about that's to say. Yeah. I said. Like they're Just all fable, so I doubt a gunshot is gonna back. kill them. Like you normally do. Yeah, they gonna have to be Everything beheaded like me. Lily was, bro. And uh, eat more chicken. Your blood pressure's through the proverbial roof. I'll try to. All right then. Very good. You say eat less chicken or Mrs. more chicken? Office. I know. I'll have to call you back. Chicken helps with that. It's kind of cool. The is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Could have called me Mr. Wolf, but it's cool. Look, look at her, look at her. So, to recap. Y'all saw that little, that little, oh my gosh, oh, no, she no, won no. a piece of that wolf. He smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. 
That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. We don't have time to wait for the mirror. Crane could be getting on a train right now. Well, we'll just I don't want to just train go after running off into the night without some direction. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is going to sound crazy, but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it. But do you really think he killed those women? Because it's just, it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I mean, why would he run? I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A it's a bod. <laughs> a liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow. Everything okay over there? So he wanted to get his satisfaction and kill them afterwards? Nothing to worry about. Prostitution is illegal, right? Things I think so. Tonight, I don't know. by the way, that could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least I hope so, for her sake. Can I um, ask you a question? Always, always, no. Personal. And I don't want to offend you. Why? What's on your mind? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city, it feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Because it gives us, you huh? an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? What you talking about, Snow? I guess it doesn't matter. No, it, no, no, no. We don't, God, I ain't mean it like that, Snow. Uh, Damn. guys, <laughs> we have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. That dude done what took do a piece with him. Missing a piece. Yes, it's, uh, it's not here. Green must have taken a shard with him. Oh, what the hell is going on in the back? Is. I saw Crane pick something up. Luffy in the back, I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was. Until. Jack Sparrow. The mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Oh! Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. All right, that is true. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that- Never mind it... that. Come help me look. All right. Alrighty. Snow, I don't know about this. Where is he going? Oh. Alright. The are there any updates on the extra funding I requested? As I explained in my last letter, the conditions here could uh, do with some improvement. I've seen some unrest from the residents, and I have to admit, I can see why. The farm should not be a punishment. I'm sure you're busy, but I think it this should be made a priority. The farm. I don't know what he means by that. Am I right, Snow? Yeah, am I right, Snow? Um, I am writing to ask again that you please send someone to fix the air conditioning in our unit. It's burning up in the apartment and Pinocchio says his skin is splintering. I don't know what that means, but I assume it's something gross. And I'd really like for it for, wait, and I'd really like it if you'd fix the air like we asked you three months ago. At the very least, provide us a fan in the meantime. Sincerity Boy Blue. Uh, 
uh, you said you'd pay to have the plaster redone in my building after the last incident in 204. It's falling off the fucking walls. Please fix it. I can't rent out that room at wait as it is and I've already been waiting for days. Not to mention you already promised me you would send someone to fix the big crack in the glass on the front door. Well, guess what? It's worse now. Get your shit together, Mr. Toe. You never do any work. Only when Cole was around. We gotta get this hole open. There you go. Bro, the office is alright. <laughs> For sure. There's a page here that was torn out. Oh, yeah? Bufkin, do you know what was here? Just say no. It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what? What witch? What meeting? Well, he called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. How would you not yes, say this before? Like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. I'm sure it's about this ring. They must have it. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! Oh, brother! I'm hungover. I'm sorry. He set the meeting at 2 a.m. tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't I'm the gonna time. just grab your Is head, bro. Fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? I tried this to, isn't but your concern. I don't know why Snow told you anything. He and right. talk all the time, okay? He was a resource, I'll be Exactly, they talk all the time. He's probably in, uh, talk. coerced. What, what did it say, bro? Besides, why well, spend time on such gutter snipe? Look, this just I don't know what that word means. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. Define help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. <clears throat> we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's a sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected Can we box again, please? Because, like, Daddy, who doesn't... elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years. Snow can obviously handle this, so let's drop it. Well, then. Bitch. Excuse me for having the Commonwealth. All right, let's just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. It's so that gives like us him. <laughs> okay. a few Bro. short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours, the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else. The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. Uh -oh. It has to be our focus. Even if they're not there, the Tweedle's office might have something on Crane. We're the witch. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, alright? 
I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh. oh. Now it's evidence. Before you had You ain't evidence. going nowhere. Now it's a crime scene. Because I, I really just want to fight him. Going I just want to fight him, really bro. Now. And what? You gonna stand here and babysit me? While the rest of your leads evaporate into mist? We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or oh, the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. What? Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. Ugh. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. You acting like he didn't where hear you, you like... <laughs> where do I want to go? They really about to give me a choice, huh? So you leave Crane alone, and we leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. Crane's apartment, Holly's bar, Dee's office. You might as well go to Holly's Which bar. Which identity must be with Lily's stuff. I should go see Holly first. Perfect. And I'll go to Crane's apartment. I'll check in with you later. Where are you gonna go? I hope you know what you're doing. Why are you on me now? Like, <laughs> bro, we were arguing with him. It might be a little bit harder because she's she 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 really an hour and twenty two minutes left. <laughs> He's asleep, you fucking idiot. Might as well try opening it first. For sure. They got it. Why would you do that? Bro, like, you still just use his shoulder. The shoulder that hurts. Like, you know it hurt and you still... Hey, yo. Please don't let me kick this door down. We're closed. I need to talk to Holly. Appreciate that, Grin. Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Look at what? Why do you always he? Ah, hey, uh, uh, man, what's what's going on, man? No, let me go, all right? It just there was no sense in me staying in jail. She, she said so herself. Well, we know it's not oh, you, bro. Sit down. Yourself, Woody. Sure, he understands. Luckily for you, I don't have the time to get pissed off about this right now. Well, come on in, buddy. Why would he kind of go? <laughs> My fault. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah. I'll only be here two minutes. I just need to check through Lily's things. <laughs> Whatever. Thanks, Brent. Just sees D and Dumb in here. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix. You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. You should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? I'll huff and puff and blow her down. Oh! Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Okay. He said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Nick, damn. Yes, he did. He certainly did. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Do they even seen fat sisters but... things, but wasn't burned at the funeral. I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. Uh, 
That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Right? Like, fucking what are you talking funeral, about? Okay? You weren't even there, dude. Where were you at? Can't what? say you being there helped things much. Where was he at? Grant, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Right now, I couldn't give a shit what you think. No? No. Not. <laughs> well, I can tell. Whatever. It's all right. I'm too out of it to get into it. You would still, you would lose if we even got clear into the it. Air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all going to have a toast. All of us. Ellis, I'm here for one thing. Look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. Oh my gosh, man. Show Give me the cup. Faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Brand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded. <sighs> bro, give me it, bro. Damn. Cheers. Cheers. To the dead. Dad. All right, show me Lily things, bro. Now help me. Why? Ren, the doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking <laughs> about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back. I said I was you? sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it. It's done. Y'all done? Y'all done? You want? What else can I fucking say here? Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. Oh, I knew, and but... Holly had to find <laughs> out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and little... I didn't plan for that, all right? Our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out, and you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this. You are an asshole, by the way. Yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. <clears throat> what do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'm gonna stay you. out of it. I'm just gonna stay he out of it. You job. have to pay chicks to touch your fat hairy ass. That's what he thinks. Oof. Oof. Just, just, just. Yeah, just walk away, bro. Just walk. Do y'all see the Huff Puff cigarette brand on the poster in the back? I don't know where Lily's shit is. Check Holly's room. I don't know. I was gonna do that anyway. Wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe uh, ogres too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Grin won't remember this. Alright, that's fine, bro. Whatever. You just gotta sleep in that form, huh? Just got to. I'm not waking her up. Well, at least we found it. Alrighty. Is she holding it? She ain't holding it, right? Is she? I mean, you can like, just like push it a bit back and then like kind of uh, maneuver it around. Oh, there we go. All right, nice. Good job. Good job, guys. <laughs> Good teamwork. I want to bring it outside so you don't got to do anything else. Okay. <laughs> okay, bro. <sighs> Uh, 
Not you, Woody. Yeah. <gasps> Woody, is that you? Yeah, sure. Woody, bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. I do live in the woods, bro. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl. Ran around too much. Of course I cared. I still care. I hope so. She won't remember. I hope <laughs> you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go back to sleep. I know that's Narissa on the left. I don't know who that was in the middle, though. Or on the side. I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. Just go back to sleep, Holly. Alrighty. None of this stuff is really helping, Wood. Just saying, bro. If y'all have, we looked into that symbol, didn't we? Or was it another symbol? I don't know. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. I still wish you could have been there. I just don't know what Big B's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I do. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. He cares about this. About Lily. About Faith. I know he does. You think so? Yeah. Well, you know him better than anybody, so... I guess I'll take your word for it. Is your eyes like cloudy or something? Like... Oh man. You're getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. But which one? You better make me choose? Oh. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Just an address book with her contacts and initials. Y'all don't got no phones? Sure well, just phone take a little pic. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? These people keep cropping up. Before a few days ago, I thought I knew everyone at Big Town. Any chance you can cross-reference these with the records in the business office? Maybe track her down that way. Yeah, but who knows how long that'll take. You should try going up to Crane's place. I sent Buffkin up there to check on things. Bluebeard, you know. Or you could try at the Tweedle's office. Just make it quick. We don't have a lot of time. I'll just go to. Oh yeah, I need to. I need to talk to them. Talk to them. Sounds good. Just keep me posted. I'll keep you posted. Go right okay. ahead. We'll find him, Snow. I hope you're right. You don't have to find him. The f sorry. The hell. Dancing the night away. That's what I dream about. You looking good in the dress that nobody would think you slay. Choosing your smile over anything. Make sure you're happy and get it on any day. When I'm around you, it feel like I'm on an island. Cause you know you're my getaway. Working the hardest to get you the finest. My only day off is on Labor Day. Blasting her off to infinity. Throwing 